I'm Sam Odani, publisher of Immigration Daily and ILW.com. The whole EB-5 industry has been waiting with bated breath on the imminent arrival of the new EB-5 regulation. And the biggest question in everybody's mind is, where is it? When is it going to come? We may have an answer. First, let's look at the process, and then let's look at the parties in the process. And then by the end of two minutes from now, I suspect we have at least the outline of the answer. The process is simple. At this late stage of the rulemaking, the rule comes from OMB to USCIS. The director of the USCIS signs it. It goes to the government printing office for publication in the Federal Register. So we know that this part of the process happened coming from OMB to USCIS on June 27th and on June 28th. It was definitely here and the director's desk. The question is, when does it go from the director's desk to the GPO, to the government printing office for publication? Well, we have an answer, and it's here. These are acting director's own words, his own words. I'm going to read them out to you from last week, from the week of July 1st. He says, quote, good news. OMB cleared the EB-5 modernization rule last week. This is a good step towards reforming the program so that it more closely aligns with congressional intent to benefit our economy and create jobs for American workers. This is straight from the horse's mouth. These are not the words of someone who intends to stop the rule or delay the rule. These are clearly the words of someone who wants the rule to see the light of day. We have to presume, therefore, as of this day, today is July 11th, that the regulation is moving from his desk, from after his signature, towards the GPO. There's a good chance it's going to be with us in the next few days. This is the best that we know, and we have the director's own words for it. Thank you.